So I asked my dad to purchase a guitar for me, or the one from England, because he buy, buys clothes and a few stuff from England all the time. But he didn't want to do that because he's not encouraging me. I'm taking this music thing too serious for, for his taste. And he said, uh, 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 and them days you could get a guitar for five pounds. Right? But I said, no. And there was no other instrument in my house. So I'm saying, you know, so I'm going to play some music. And I said, I'm going to make an instrument. Never made, never built one before. But that's how determined I am. And this thing inside of me just, you see, as a professor later said to me, you did not choose music, music chose you. And that is what I'm going through, this thing I have to express, this thing that is inside of me. So I got a nice little seat of board and I was 14 then. I have a friend named Tony Francis. Tony was my age, but Tony's father was a carpenter and Tony had skills with tools already. So I asked Tony to, I said, okay, I have a concept. And I draw it on a piece of board and cut it in the shape for me. Before that happened, I borrowed a guitar from an old gentleman in the community, Mr. Charles. In his early years, Mr. Charles went to America as a farm worker, came back with a guitar. And that must have been a long time ago, because you're talking in the 60s, and the guitar was so old that it was coming apart. You know, it's a big um, acoustic guitar. And for, for it to be losing all that, that, that frame of it, it's old. So I started practicing on the guitar and my luck, it began to come apart in my hands. I said, oh Jesus, I'm in problems now. How am I going to explain to Mr. Charles that his guitar is going? And I'm nervous, I'm going to tell my parents and then I'm going to get hassle for it because my dad don't want me to take music that serious. So I, anyhow, I explained to Mr. Charles what's happening to the guitar. I said, don't worry about it, young boy, it's all right. You know, it's, it's kind of old anyway. Help yourself. And so, wow, the best news I could have heard. So, while his guitar is coming apart, I, did, I decided I'm going to salvage it and see what I can use to put on my new guitar that I'm building. So, I took off the tuning pegs first. <laughs> I measured the fretboard because you have to be precise with the fretboard. I realized that. And I drew my own fretboard and my piece of board after Tony cut it for me. And I began to sand it, put my markers, everything, connected my um, tuning pegs. Now I'm making an electric guitar, not an acoustic guitar. Because there's no way I have the skill to bend wood. I don't know how they do that. So it has to be a solid body electric guitar. But my dad doing radio, I understood a little bit about electronics of a guitar, how it works, how to create the pickups. I got me a nail, this is a 10 penny nail. I know if you shock it a certain way with a nine volt battery or so, it become electromagnet. My dad always have coil wires, you know, copper wires, cause you rewind transformers and speakers and everything. And I understood how that work. So I begin to wrap my nail, creating my first electromagnetic pickup. So one end to the so you start here, and when you finish winding, that's the other end. I stole a couple of potentiometer, or we call the switch to turn it up from my father's reader parts and connected on this thing. Then the next joke is I have no strings. <laughs> it never stops. Uh, nobody will buy strings and there's no place in the country that you can find strings. I would have to get to Montego Bay at mainly Kingston to find strings for a guitar. Next part of it, I have no amplifier. But I, found, I figured out a trick. In those days, in the back of our most radios, good radio, there are two um, input areas for 1-8 jacks. I stole some 1-8 jacks from my dad, connected to the ends of the pickup, stick it in the radio, and I heard sound. So, wow. So when my dad's not home, I plug into the radio. But the strings, eventually on that guitar, were not real guitar strings. They were the same copper wires. Mm -hmm. But there was not enough for me to make six strings. All I could make four. <laughs> so I was beginning to teach myself bass because I figured, I knew by then that a bass guitar is tuned from the last four strings of a guitar. So I tuned it. And I began to play through that, so I just I started playing bass and not guitar. 